Well, $36 for a twin bedroom to myself? That's pretty damn good to be honest. <laughs> I was expecting to pay a lot more for a lot less, so that's all right. Plus I can have a shower, which is always welcome. <laughs> I don't know if the microphone on the camera is picking this up, but there is a very, very loud buzzing noise where there's just hundreds of bees or wasps trying to get pollen from this beautiful white flourishing tree. Most people would run away in fear from this many wasps, but for some reason I'm in the midst of them taking pictures. Anyway, that's not the point of this bit of the video. Uh, of course, yes, the car has crapped out on me yet again. Uh, this time we believe it's the starter motor. Uh, thankfully, it's only going to cost about $300 to repair that, which ain't too bad. I was expecting to get absolutely shafted again, but they seem to be uh, pretty honest with me, which is quite good. But yeah, I've had to check into this uh, hotel place, or lodge, or whatever it is. And it's like $35 or something, and I've got a twin bedroom to myself, which is pretty neat. So yeah, I got that for the night, can have a shower and all of that stuff, pretty good. So at least something good came out of it. Yeah, hopefully tomorrow the car will be, you know, up and running again and I can get on the move. Either that or I'll have to scrap the thing. So three hundred dollars and one night in a hostel later, I'm back in the car. <laughs> that went surprisingly smoothly, actually. I'm I'm not too upset about it this time. The motor starter went literally it broke down around the corner from a garage. Guy came out, take, took a look at it, towed the car round into the garage. The next day, and three hundred dollars later, back up and running. And yeah, of course, I'm on my way to the uh, next destination on my journey and I've kind of stumbled across, well, as I was driving down the highway, I saw a sign that said something like uh, Night Sky Reserve, something like that. Uh, apparently this place is like so far away from any towns or anything that there's no light pollution. So at night, you can get some really nice shots of stars if it's clear. So fingers crossed, if tonight is clear, I can do a bit of uh, night photography, which will be fantastic. And then I'll be on to the final phase of my plan. <laughs> so uh, stay tuned for that one.
Right, it is finally time for part two of my snowy adventure. Because today I am in the Tasman Valley, which has the Tasman Lake in it. And in the Tasman Lake, there is Tasman Glacier. Okay, according to the maps on my phone, the viewpoint is uh, just up this massive pile of rocks here. Uh, I guess I'll give it a try. I mean, there is sort of a pathway here. So I guess if I just follow this, it will lead me to the top. Maybe. Oh man, okay, this path is so hard to follow. Like, <laughs> it just disappears all of a sudden and you gotta try and look around to figure out where it's going like this way <laughs> and there's a glacier that looks really dirty okay well, it's not a particularly safe lookout but behind me is the glacier so that's kind of cool, eh? And I can just hear rocks falling away over there. Fantastic. Really reassuring that is. But uh, I guess now it's time to break the rules, eh? <laughs> yeah, hurry up and off so I can fly my drone. I would probably say that's the most disappointing glacier I've ever seen and I've only ever seen this one but yeah all the dirt over it kind of doesn't look doesn't make it look particularly impressive really so that's a shame but from up here it looks quite small but it's actually quite large up close and there's another helicopter flying over these things are just ridiculous they're constant but they're very loud isn't it funny how you're not supposed to fly an electric drone around here but fossil fuel burning helicopters can fly over constantly and that's supposed to be the thing that's melting these bloody things so yeah a bit of a contradiction there New Zealand you might want to sort yourselves out I'm so disappointed that I missed that like literally I heard flapping I look and there's a falcon flying directly at me I I actually recoiled. I was like, is he gonna claw my face or something? Man, that made me jump. <laughs> 